and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for August 23. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and the next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And if you need some sound effects, there's a humble bundle with a ton of them. You've got everything from regular ones to some retro ones, a bunch of weapons, athletics, a bunch of music and so on. There's even physics objects, real guns, and a bunch of announcer side effects. All of this for just 20 bucks, so check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a very impressive one, it's a runtime console. This one looks extremely robust for a free tool. You can see the console in runtime. This is extremely useful, especially for multiplayer games, where you need to make a build and you don't have access to the editor console. On this one, you can read all the logs, you can pin some messages, display any custom data, you can easily create lots of visual panels and display whatever data you want. You can add some sliders or bars, literally anything. This one is honestly really impressive for a free asset. Next here is the latest free Unity sample. It's a 2D project that is meant to showcase all of the latest Unity 2D tools. This one has an emphasis on 2D lights, showcasing how you can set up a day-night cycle and get some pretty interesting effects. It's got an interesting visual style with lots of bevels to really make the lighting effects stand out, so there are lots of normal textures being used everywhere. It has some interesting custom shaders with 2D particles made in the VFX graph. It uses the tile map, light masks, the character also has some 2D bones and multiple directions. So in all, this room looks like a very complete 2D sample. If you'd like to learn all about these Unity 2D tools, then this is a great project to inspect. Next, for something in 3D, here is a control rig. Basically, this uses Unity's animation rigging package and with one click, automatically sets up all kinds of constraints so you can move your character in many ways. It automatically adds head IK so you can look in any direction. It adds IK to the hand so you can grab anything, foot IK to place them correctly. Manually setting up all of the IK for a character like this, doing all of this this usually takes a ton of work, so being able to set all this up with just one click sounds like a huge time saver, and again, it's only a free tool, so it's very impressive. If you find this useful, check out the other tools by this same developer. Then if you need a simple, fun, stylized character, check out this one. It looks nice, it's a very simple design, but very well made, and if you like this style, then this dev has tons more on this same style and with modular parts. For another interesting system, here is a third-person controller. Looks very well built, extremely impressive, and again, it's a free asset. Features some basic locomotion motion, features a ragdoll and camera system, it's also got foot IK, uses a new input system, and even has a zipline mechanic. All in all, a very robust asset, this would be a great starting point for any prototype where you need a third person controller. Then if you need some items, here's a bunch of fantasy ones. These are great designs, personally I quite like the style. It features 50 of them, so you have weapons, armors, items, potions, and tons more. Then if you need some free animations, here's a nice zombie pack. These are humanoid animations, so you can easily add them to any character. Then if you'd like to polish your game with some free skyboxes, check out this one. These are surreal skyboxes, so they look quite a bit strange. Some are just slightly sci-fi, while others are extremely stylized. There's 20 of them to pick from, which can really set the mood for your game. Next, if you want to make some nice low poly maps, here's a simple pack. Personally, I quite enjoy these packs. I remember last month I saw one of these that looked straight out of Dust 2. This one also seems to be inspired by Counter-Strike. It includes a wall, house, leather, and a bunch of props. If you like this style, then this half has tons more. And if you're making something with pixel art and you need some icons, check out these ones. You've got 15 sprite icons of various sorts. Some look pretty normal, where others look quite unique. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity S Store for August 23. There's a link to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.